Hello, everyone. This is Kristen Brindley, publisher of DC Metro and Nova Real Producers. I'm with our cover story, um, Megan Fast of Fast Results, our April cover story. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And Megan, it's an honor to have you on. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, it's an honor to be on here with you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, you've grown every single year, 2004 to now, like every year growth, $500 million in sales. <laughs> um, yeah, 75 million last year, definitely earned a cover spot. And uh, you guys have an average of 850K, you know, price point, though you serve everyone. I feel like that's a pretty great price point. And from personally getting to know you, you know, that right person, right seat, doing the right thing. Like, I feel like it's a mantra and, uh, you know, it was great to have that kind of culture on the cover. So um, like, yeah, let's, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, let's let's jump into it. So like, why real estate? How did, you know, how did this come to be? Tell us your story. Yeah. Oh gosh, it was 2004. I was actually working for a financial consulting firm and um, somebody suggested I get into real estate. And I took the classes, loved it. And I started, actually, I did two jobs for two years until I made it. So I went from five days to four to three to two. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I think I can quit my day job, go all commission, no benefits. And, and then every year, it just, it just um, snowballed. So, you know, it's earning people's trust, uh, knowing that I'll look out for their best interests. And, you know, it's an emotional decision for people and it's their biggest investment. So, um, but as a newbie, I, we might get to this of uh, how it was first coming in. And my very first sale was, you know, funny to look back at, funny, not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a feeling it's going to be a fun story. Um, well, let's hear. Like, what's been most rewarding? Like, I know we taught we've talked like about leadership and so on. So, like, what's been most rewarding as a realtor, and maybe then as like a team lead? Sure, as a realtor, you know, helping people get into their home is like super rewarding. It's where they're going to make their memories. Um, it's the place they come home to every day, and it's just you know to be able to get them into that is awesome. And then on the you know, this side, being able to help them to get to the next chapter, you know, they're leaving their, their current memories behind, leaving them, you know, the home to somebody else, but getting them to that next chapter of life is also super rewarding. And as a, like a team lead, it's awesome to um, help share all of my knowledge that I've gained over the last 17 years and be able to like coach and mentor and advise, like even this morning, you know, um, working with one of the agents of how to strategize in this competitive market. Uh, last week, I was helping another agent uh, shut down um, multiple negotiations. We won. So that is like crazy rewarding to be able to win for a client. Absolutely. Especially right now in this crazy, crazy market. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's what's um, been maybe most challenging? Um, I think it's finding the right people that I want in my world in terms of my business you know, obviously it has my name on it, fast results, <laughs> Megan fast. Uh, so being able to have an extension where I trust the people that will do always the right thing for the clients, you know, uh, give options, educate them on their, um, the different options and the risk and reward with each of them. So they're making the best decision for themselves. So, you know, I'm not looking to grow huge, but it's grown organically. So finding the right people, um, you know, it, it's not easy. You know, we all have our gifts. Isn't that the, isn't that the truth? Well, so how does it fit into, how does real estate fit into your dreams and goals? Well, you know, it's been successful, so it helps me plan for a future and for my children. And um, it's also something that I love to do every day. I, I truly, you know, I work a ton, but it doesn't feel like work. You know, what's that, what's that um, you live to work or your work to live, right? I just truly enjoy, enjoy it. It's like always on my mind. And so being able to do something that you love and being successful and being able to have the lifestyle and help others achieve their goals is super rewarding. And you know, um, the cash, what is the quote? It's like, um, you know, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life or something like right. that to you. Like, I feel like you, yeah, that's something I think we've talked about something like that before. Like, I feel like you, yeah. Um, define success for us. So Megan, what's success for you? Success is loving what you do, like we just talked about, and helping people surrounding myself with those like-minded, positive, helpful, 
um, good energy people, like that's success. When you are with the people that you love, you love what you're doing and you can have, you know, the lifestyle that you want is just like, you know, and do what you want. I want to do what I want. <laughs> and so to have that luxury is like a win. Freedom. Freedom. Um, <laughs> what, tell us about your family. Like you, you light up when you're, yeah. Tell us about your family. Um, so my favorite thing to be as a mom, it's what I always wanted to be in life. I didn't realize I'd end up with this crazy career and business. Um, so I've got two kids, Grant and Audrey. They are 10 and almost 12, very, very different kids. Um, and just love watching them. Um, I can't believe how fast it's going. It's crazy. So I try to like think of myself sometimes as my future self, like looking back on like, okay, here I am. They're just 10 and 12. And, you know, in my future self, they're 20 and 22 and like trying to grasp it. So that's um, my family. I'm trying to, you know, appreciate and take in and because time's going by so fast. Um, I've got amazing parents. Um, thank you for, you, you've written, you've published some of the things I've written about them. Um, they've always been my biggest cheerleaders have always supported me. And then my husband, I mean, he's the best. He's a great dad. I mean, he has to deal with my craziness. He knows who I am like inside and out and, and still loves me. So I am thankful for my whole family. You know, um, good people, good deeds. Like we've talked about things like that. And um, you, I feel like you, when you talk about your family, like that, that comes through like, um, what are you currently learning, Megan? Like what's, what's on the plate right now? <laughs> so I, I, you know what I love? I love people. I love learning about them. I love like figuring people out. That's the beauty of this business because we're working with so many different personalities. Um, and, you know, now I'm working on figuring out the right fit for our team and, and the people to bring on to help more clients. And, you know, we all have our gifts. And so what I'm working on is figuring out people on, an, on a different level. You know, what, um, what, are, what are the strengths? What might be the weaknesses? Um, and, you know, how can they thrive? How, how, can, how can I help others around thrive? So it's, um, and also like habits. I'm, I'm fascinated by habits. And there is like, habits are really hard to break, good and bad. So it's like trying to create the right habits to have, you know, the right, um, you know, healthy choices, um, good decisions, always doing the right thing, being detailed, like all of these things are fascinating to study in people, you know, and, and just, and, you know, I've got good and bad habits. So <laughs> I have to, I'm trying to be self-aware myself. Don't, don't we all, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> sure. we all have our gifts. We all have our challenges. Um, what about hobbies and interests for you, Megan? What's that? Oh, oh what about, um, like hobbies and interests? Oh, hobbies. Well, I'm a super social butterfly. So I love getting together with friends uh, and my family. Um, I enjoy wine and uh, hazy IPAs. <laughs> uh, yep. I love. <laughs> We're a fan. Yep. <laughs> yep. And I love playing tennis. I was out for two years from an ankle injury and then a uh, tennis elbow. So I'm glad to be back doing that. I uh, enjoy working out. I work out with a group of um other ladies in the mornings outside. It's great ever since COVID happened. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And, and then just, I love going to my kids' sports. Like I try not to miss a game. And I recently started coaching my daughter's volleyball team, which is I played volleyball in high school. And so it's kind of, it's, it's fun to um, get back in the game, obviously on a different level, uh, but to be there with her and her friends. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, what about like any um, education, educational like class or book or what's, what's had like the biggest impact on you? I would say it's more of the groups that I have um, surrounded myself with. I am part of Cadre, which um, you know is amazing people that are entrepreneurs, business people, and you know, keep my, my mind thinking of all the things that I could be doing and implementing in my business. I also joined uh, B School for Real Estate, which is all, you know, um, team leaders and brokers and owners across the US. So just getting ideas um, and trying to implement them into our business and becoming more efficient. We've had a lot of efficiencies on our team, um, which is exciting to see how it has developed. What about like favorite quote? So it might be my own. <laughs> 
I, I came up with a quote years ago when my kids were little, um, happy, helpful, thoughtful. Like that's what I want to feel and be and help others feel and be. So, you know, it started with my kids like, hey, um, that whatever you're just doing, does that make anybody feel happy, helpful, thoughtful? You know, that it's not the right choice. Um, and then to my business, same thing. Like that's the, that's the energy that we want to have when we're helping our clients, being that way with, with our clients. I think that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> mindful and thoughtful in our society. I, I love the spreading of that. I think that's great. What sets you apart or makes you different, do you feel? I think, you know, always wanting to do the best thing and do the right thing, as well as I don't look at us as salespeople. I think we are educators, consultants, and advisors. So when we are working with clients, uh, I think they really appreciate that we're not pushing them. We're, we do not push any client into anything. We are like, okay, here are your options. You know, with option one, here's the risk and reward. With option two, same thing, and three, you know, and like, where do you feel comfortable with, with those out possible outcomes? So they feel really empowered to make the best issue decision for themselves. You know, we've had sellers that will take a lower price because, you know, there's less risk versus another seller will take the highest price and have those contingencies. So as long as they understand. So I think that's one of the reasons why, um, you know, clients recommend us, they hire us again because they feel in empowered. What do you think for you? Um, I love that summary. What do you think for you is, um, the reason or reasons for your success? Like, why do you feel that you've been, cause you've been really successful and you're humble. So you wouldn't normally say, well, I've been successful. What? But like, what do you think the main reasons are um, for your, your success? Um, I think people, you know, when they trust you, they'll hire you and then they'll recommend you. And then surrounding myself with great people and learning from them. They learn from me, we help each other out. So, um, I think it's all of a trust and relationship business and, you know, having really good communication. If somebody's trusting you that first, you know, that you know what you're doing and you'll look out for them, that they will hire you time and time again. It's a huge investment. Again, it's their home that they're living in. Um, and it's really, really rewarding when our past clients recommend us to their, you know, their neighbors, their friends, their family. It's the biggest compliment, obviously. What is something you've done that other real producers absolutely should do? Get help. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. Love that. Yeah. yes. Um, we are busy, busy, busy. And I, I it's hard. It's hard to let go of things because I know you want to do everything yourself. You want to do it the best way, the quickest way. Um, but there's only so many hours in a day. And when you're starting to get more and more clients, you don't want to drop a ball. So getting help has been the biggest um, success that I've had. Getting the right people in place and, and the right help is super duper rewarding when you're like, I don't have to think about that anymore. It's just being taken care of, but I know it's being done right. It's awesome. Quality of life too, man. Quality of life. Yes. What's the greatest lesson you think you've ever learned? I think it comes from my parents. I mean, they... Um, always taught me to do the right thing. And sometimes the right thing is the hard choice, right? Um, but when you do the right thing, it always, life is better, things, the energy, things come back to you. Um, so that would be the, you know, the, the biggest lesson is from my parents of just always doing the right thing. I love it. That is an amazing message actually. Um, what do you wanna be remembered for? Hmm. Um, being a loving mom, uh, a good wife, um, a loyal friend, uh, a thankful daughter, um, a, a good and fun friend, uh, and just a good person. I think you, you, yep. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, I, trust me, I've got faults. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and guess who knows them quite too well is my husband. So he's, yeah, he, he's the brunt of some of the, like the stress, you know, we all get stressed. We all have things and I'm not perfect by any means, but, um, I, I try to do my best. 
tell us so um tell, like what about a fun or hilarious story you i think you alluded to a fun or hilarious story earlier what is like a fun or like go ahead go ahead and give us a story from real estate well i would say i mean it's funny not funny because like looking back i'm like oh my gosh i had no idea what i was doing so <laughs> four, you know i'm working these two jobs my first client i'm like who's going to trust a newbie right you don't know what you're doing it's people's biggest investment but it was my, I have three best friends in elementary school and they're still my best friends. Um, and one of them, it was her in-laws that trusted me. They're like, you know, you can help us buy a home in Falls Church. I'm like, okay, great. And um, so we find the house, you know, write up the contract and then, you know, we get it. And then the listing agent was kind enough to call me and say, hey, Megan, um, your inspection contingency expires tomorrow and you haven't, like, you haven't scheduled anything. I was like, oh wait, what? Like, totally clueless, total ding dong. I had no idea what I was doing. So I was like, oh my gosh, okay. So, you know, I really wasn't getting guidance. Like I was, there's a lot to real estate. I mean, even 17 years in, there's still things I'm learning. There's weird things that go on, but um, I got an inspector in, we got it, you know, but just looking back of how clueless I was, and that was like simple 101 real estate, right? Um, you know, and I just actually, you know, then I, 10 years later, I sold it for them when they moved out of the area. Yeah. Hey, that second sale is also good too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much better back to around. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, uh, I'm so glad you were on our April cover and, uh, you know, definitely check out, go see Megan fast, check out her website. Um, you know, they do great work and, you know, thanks for being on, uh, for our cover and have well, a great day. You. That is such a such an honor and reward to, to be on a cover. Like, who, who would have thought? <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Have Thank a good day, everybody.